Four young amnesiacs hold the fate of humankind in their hands. Their mission is to protect you from the rifters who want to control the human mind. They may appear to be harmless and self-absorbed, but they have astonishing paranormal powers and an invincible motivation to retrieve the secrets to their past lives, hidden deep in the parallel dimension of the Delta State. does have us going Delta way too much lately. Um, he must have a reason. He knows how hard it is on us. Just look at what it's doing to him. How can you defend him? Never mind. Whatever I say, you'll say the opposite. Why are you saying that? What's this about? Go easy on her, Martin. She's been going Delta way too much lately. I'm starting to get to her. You know, maybe you should ease up on the Delta trips. I mean, uh, it's not a theme park. You guys are unbelievable. What is this, dump on Claire week? It's not that, it's just, you have been distant from everyone lately. And you don't ever want to do anything anymore. First off, it's hard to know who to trust around here. Second, I am so sorry I don't reach the required fun quotient. I'll really try harder to be more fun. Claire, I just... Let her go. She needs to cool off. David? Wait! Maybe we should call the police. The police won't do anything until after 24 hours. Well, I'm not waiting. I just can't sit here doing nothing. Any change? Pulse low, breathing shallow, brain activity almost nil. It's been six hours. Yes, Dr. Chambers. Anything from the police on the identity of the young woman that was brought in this morning? Well, let me know. Her family will want to say goodbye to her. All right, this is ridiculous. Where could she possibly be? If she was hit by a car or something, the police would have phoned us. Not really. She forgot her bag. Guys, I didn't want to be the one to say this, but I think we've all been thinking it. Rifters? Or what if she went Delta again? I think even Claire knows that she's too wasted to go Delta this soon. What are you doing? What we should have done long ago. Call the police. What if it is the Rifters? Yeah? And what if it isn't? 911? Uh, uh, 
<laughs> Whoa there. Where am I? Mission Hospital. What happened? We were hoping you could tell us. I don't remember. I was just... No, I, I don't remember. What's wrong with me? Your vital signs have been borderline all for hours. You were pulled out of the canal around 3.30 this morning. Any idea what you were doing there? Not really. Well, anyway, I feel great now, so... Well, I wouldn't get up just yet. Why not? I just told you I feel great. Well, we have several tests we have to run. <sighs> Pupil dilation is normal. Okay. Now, would you sit up slowly, please? The nurse will help you. Good girl. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions. You know where you are? Yes, you just told me. Mission Hospital. I was brought in at 3.30. Good. Do you have any nausea? No, I told you I feel great. But you remember nothing about the accident? No. What is your last memory? Mm, let me see. Uh, 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 I was on my way to the beach. When was that? I'm not sure. Do you remember your name? Of course. It's Kay. Kay Adams. And where do you live, Kay? 119 Poplar Plains Road. You live there alone? I live with my parents. Would you have somebody contact them, please? sort things out. The main thing is, you've come home. Oh, Mom. Daddy. Oh, baby. We've been worried sick. But we never gave up hope. Not all those months. And now, you've been given back to us. In your honor, honey. Your favorite. Smoked ham. It smells delicious, Mother. Great, Mom. Let me serve you first, sweetheart. Gee, thanks. Everything looks so nice. Just the way you left it. We haven't changed a thing. I change the sheets on your bed every day. Oh. <laughs> I'll get it. Robbie's been calling every day. Dad, Robbie and I were... Now, I don't want to be a nag, but Robbie's a fine boy with a good head on his shoulders and a bright future. Lots of girls would love to snatch him up. But he's still carrying a torch for you. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> that was... Oh, dear. We better get used to it, now that the most popular girl in school is back. Daddy? Not the most popular. Hmm? That was Robbie. He wants you to meet him at the soda shop at 7. Thanks, Mom. Hmm. Now, for gosh sakes, can we eat before the dinner gets cold? There really hasn't been any change. I'm sorry. Oh, Claire. Claire? Claire, can you hear me? Do you think it's Rifters? I mean, this coma looks pretty familiar. There must be something we can do. You know, I read somewhere that if you talk to someone who's in a coma, it, uh, it sometimes helps them to come out of it. Talk about what? Anything, really. It's, uh, it's the sound of your voice that's the important thing. Okay. 
Let me. Hi, Claire. It's me, Martin. And, uh, we're all here. Me, Philip, and Luna, and uh, we're just waiting for you to wake up. Uh, I know that you're tired and all, but uh, this is really taking things a bit too far. I'm, uh, I'm just, I'm just joking. So, uh, anyway, n n nothing much has changed. The apartment's still a mess. Phil's side, anyway. Hey. That, that singer that you like, the, the guy with one name, uh, what's his name? He, he's, he's coming to the forum next week and... Uh, what's his name? Hey. Hi. We missed you, what happened? I don't remember. You mean like amnesia? Yeah, I guess so. I remember walking to the beach and then waking up in the hospital. I can't believe it's been four months. Well, where did you live while you were gone? Where did you eat? Where's David? Has anyone told him I'm back? David's dead. He drowned scuba diving right before you disappeared. Don't you remember? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Claire. Claire. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. Um, I guess I'm just tired. Yeah, you've had a big day, if that's not an understatement. <laughs> yeah. After four months, it'll be nice to sleep in your own bed, huh? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you. See, if you want high-speed internet and all of the digital channels, well, then you need to specify which bundle of services you want from your internet service provider. Well, plus it frees up all the phone lines. Look. Oh, give it a rest, Philip. You're putting me in a coma. Fine. You think it's something to talk about then. We're losing her. Oh my god. Wait outside, please. She's okay? For the moment, we have to administer some tests. You must leave her alone. There's a waiting room down there. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are we gonna do? We have to find out where she is. Martin, can you read her mind? But, oh, I promised Martin, that... She's dying. Okay. Okay. She's freezing. Her forehead feels like ice. What are you 
you doing, dear? Oh, it's so hot in here. Mom, how did David die? Nobody knows, dear. It was an accident. At first we thought you had drowned with him, but then when no sign of your your body showed up, we had hope, and we never gave up on you, dear. Oh, Mom. Claire. I think I'd like to paint my room. <laughs> What's going on? Pulse is dropping. What happened? Could you read her? She's home. She's happy. What do you mean, she's home? She's in her hometown. Come on. Wait, wait a minute, Martin. I'm getting all screwed up here. I mean, this is in Claire's head, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, that is Claire's real life. Maybe that is her real life, and this is all an illusion. What? The three of us are all in her head? You really think we're in an illusion and, and Claire is in reality? I know. In Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Yeah, some little town just outside. Uh, Spruce Falls? Right. How'd you know? Because last week, Claire and I were sitting around talking, you know, about what our lives could have been like. She said that she wished she was from someplace normal, some nondescript little town that would have a name like Spruce Falls. And now she's making it up. So, so what are you saying, that this is a world she's made up for herself? Those aren't her real parents, and that's not a real hometown? I don't know. But Claire's had freakouts like this before. Well, she did ask about David. <sighs> Blood pressure's dropping. If that's true, we've got to get her back before it's too late. Is she Delta? Well, I, I think it's like Delta. Like Delta? What if we get there and we can't breathe or something? Yeah, and what if she dies? Let's do it. It's the morgue. Martin, are you crazy? Don't you watch daytime television? They use our bodies for scientific experiments. When we come back, we're dead. Shut up. Here! It's where the on-call doctors sleep. favorite song, remember? Mm. The one she was always humming. Are we Delta? Because this, this doesn't quite feel like Delta. I think it's like Delta. I think we're inside one of Claire's dreamscapes. Mm, Claire's world. So she calls all the shots and she holds us all together. Claire wants to live here? There's probably bears in those woods. She always did have this small town fantasy. Hmm. Guys. She probably won't want to go with us. Let's worry about that when we get there, okay? Guys, the bears! Take my hand away, and you promise you won't scream, okay? What 
do you want? It's us, Claire. We want to take you home. My name is Kay. You've got the wrong person. Now, if you don't get out of here, I'm going to scream. Her temperature's dropped another degree. I think it's a warning signal. And I don't think we've got much longer, any of us. What are you talking about? We all want our lives back, Claire. But our real lives, not, not some life we made up in control, that's not living. Real life is, is whatever comes your way and, and, and things you can't control. Okay. What's going on in there? Come with us, Claire. Nothing, Dad. Martin, her diary. Hey, that's private. You haven't had time to create your memories yet. You know I'm right. You remember this, Claire? I gave you this track, and you said it always kept you happy. Claire, it's true. None of this is real. We are real. Okay. Is there someone in there with you? No, Dad. It's just a bad dream. Get Dr. Carswell down here, fast. Claire, you're not trying. Don't be conflicted. I'm not. Claire, are you all right? What happened? We've got trouble. Who are you people? Get security. Oh, man. This is my worst nightmare come true. Dr. Carswell is here. Oh, thank God. He'll know what to do. Dr. Carswell, the, the most incredible thing has happened. Yes, a force field of delusion. We've been studying it at the Institute. It's good to have our prized pupils back. Um, this gentleman would like to have a word with you. Brody, huh? All right, hurry up, get dressed. Who was that man? 